All the work that Charles Babbage made and Lovelace did was forgotten. It lay collecting dust in Pisa University. It wasn't until after a mathematician called Alan Turing had designed how computers ought to work that the papers were rediscovered. Now, Alan Turing had a bright idea. He sat down and thought, if there were such things as computers, how would they work? His blue sky thinking led to what we have today. Alan Turing published his first paper on how computers ought to work in the 1920s. But then, in the late 1930s, along came the Second World War. And it was realised that Britain really did need some computing facilities. So the British government helped pay for a system called ENIAC and put Alan Turing in charge. He was the brains of the organisation. And that helped us crack the German secret codes. The result was that we knew an awful lot about what the Germans were doing, but they didn't know much about us. Alan Turing's star was well and truly up, and that caused an awful lot of jealousy. Unfortunately, Alan Turing was gay, and at that time homosexuality was illegal in Britain. But some of his colleagues explained his situation to the police. Having been threatened with uh, prosecution, he decided that that probably wasn't a good way to do things. So he decided to inject an apple with cyanide and eat the apple. The apple on Apple Computing's logo that has the bite taken out is a homage to Alan Turing. The machine that he helped create, ENIAC, looked like this and it helped us win an awful lot of battles later on. 